what's called tolerance. It's not hormesis, it's tolerance. So we're building up a tolerance to a drug. You take cocaine, the next time you take cocaine, you need a little more and a little more and a little more and a little more to get the same effect. That's understood that you build up a tolerance mm. towards poison. Right, yeah. drugs are a poison. Some people like the effect of those poisons, yeah. but they build up a tolerance to that. And when you get away from these different sort of food toxins, and then you re-expose yourself to that, you're going to see a more extreme uh, example of that, and you're going to see the contrast of it. So it's really going to be unpleasant. And that's the same thing with alcohol. Your body builds up these different sorts of defenses and tolerances towards alcohol. Okay, but is that is that giving you an overarching benefit? Or is that only giving you a, a, a bit more defense the next time you encounter alcohol? You could say that, you know, having built up a tolerance, you'll get more bang for your buck once you have a tolerance. But that doesn't mean that this stuff is not still damaging you. And it doesn't mean that the nutrients outweigh the harms, especially because you get everything you need in the proportion you need it just from eating a steak.